uh yeah hi guys uh, we've been here so this tutorial is about how to export animated geometry out of uh houdini solaris using component builder specifically so exporting using component builder as an animated sequence it's a little bit hard it's a little bit tricky and they're, they're it's easy to do but you need to have you need to find a little bit of work around to export animated usds out of um common builder common builder is a very easy to use tool you don't need to you know do a lot of stuff just use the common builder to export them it very intuitive and easy to do so we need to find a way to export our animated geos also so this is an animated tree that i exported from speed tree and you can see right now this is an Olympic export i'm just setting a path for for me to assign the materials here uh as you can see this is a common material designer so there we go pretty cool so then i want this to export so just give a name and if you want you can generate the terminal and all you all, you, you all know this stuff so so to export this thing first you, we got to do is go to the component geometry node and go to the other time sample settings I mean the toggle and then and you see this it will be like this as defaults it will be never so it will never calculate the same time samples which you have on your geometry so change this to if sop is time dependent so that will enable any time samples in your um, input connection so then the second thing you what would you have to do is go to the common output tag and uh, right click over it and then you'll find allow editing so enable allow editing so when you enable allow editing it will unlock the lock see it'll show this kind of an icon go inside the node uh, find these uh this rop node which is responsible for exporting the geometry as an usd file so go to here then you'll find a uh, val frame range and it will be set to, to render current frame so that's why it's only rendering a one static mesh change that that to specific frame range and then give you a frame range whichever what or whatever you want and again go back to the stage and uh, yeah then is just save to disk save to disk after you save to disk uh, i'll reference my geometry back here um, this tree usd let's take a look okay so this is my geometry as you can see now it is animated see it is animated geometry pretty awesome let's stop it and go back to the first frame i'm gonna plug this to my dom layer just to make sure everything works or my xpu there we go so it exported with the textures and uh, everything materials and everything so that's our geometry uh we'll wait a few seconds more to maybe solve it a little bit more okay yeah that's pretty much it so it's pretty cool so everything is acting as it's supposed to be let's go back to the gl all right so this other question which I got how to instance this using uh, using an instancer. So what I can do to instance this geometry. So instancing not an issue. You can just instance using an instancer and uh, directly. So the problem with this one is it is time dependent. So if you scatter this using a normal scatterer, it will scatter. It will scatter with the animation and everything. The problem is it will be a uniform motion so whatever like the first it's, it, it all all the trees will start the animation from first frame to the uh, last frame so that's not something we want we want an offset so we have 100 frames so each of these trees need to start from a random frame number so that will be um that will create a random wind animation or something like debris trees plants whatever you guys are scattering it'll give you a random motion on so it will be more like a more natural than a uniform motion so let's let's do that let's take a look at how to do that so you referenced it 
it's fine. Uh, let's just do an instancer here. So instancer. Oh, sorry. Uh, instancer. There you go. And I'm gonna create a simple grid over here. So grid, red, and just double click on over here, and then we'll get this. I know. Uh, all right, guys. So we have our grid. Um, let's go back to the stage mode. And uh, there we go. Something happened. All right, that is fine. Let's go back to the. Uh, let's add an instancer node over here. So instancer, go back inside. I'll insert a node import node here, and grab our grid, and select our geometry. And now we have to unpack it. Unpack USD to polygons. And we have this. Let's use a scatter node. I'm do, do, uh, doing a very simple method over here. So it will work on anything. So change this to 5. And uh, just relax a bit. Okay. And then uh, let's go back. Connect over here. Wait a few seconds. Okay. Not sure what this is, but ignore it. Um after that what do you can do? So we instanced it based on this uh grid. Let me check out the animation whether it's working or not. The animation is there. Only problem we're gonna face is their animation is all will be same. So we don't want that. We want them to be randomly starting on a specific I mean a random frame that we find. So to do that we need to do add some create a create an attribute. So selecting a assigning a random frame number to these points that we created. So for that, I'm gonna use a Wrangler. Give me an attribute Wrangler. And go ahead. I'm gonna create an attribute called frame. What is supposed to sorry? What it has to do is actually uh create a random frame number. So creating a random frame number. Um uh, random based on what I want this to be based on our point numbers attribute pt num and divided by 10 uh, so we will have a division and then select a frame between 1 and 50 between 1 and 50 and uh, yes and that's pretty much it. So it created a frame numbers for us. Uh, and go back to the stage. And now we have to add a simple node called retime instancer. This is a this is the uh, node we have to use for retiming. Go back and uh, assign add this and retime instancer. What you have to do is select your instance first. I'm going to select my instance here and select everything inside oops sorry select everything inside with the asterisk so it will select everything and anything inside this instance here. and then you have to give a prim var so the frame offset prim var we give is frame there you go a couple of seconds to calculate okay there we go. So this is how we have to do uh, retiming, and to assign a random frame number to each of these uh, points, which we created inside a scatter node, and it will start like 
if you go if you go inside the instance you can see the attribute triangular is one will start on 25 one will start on one one will start on one four. so this this can be like random random frames 40 30 21 if you have if you have a huge forest with thousands of points then this will be unnoticeable so go back to stage so just render this just take your caches like 200 300 frames then you'll get plenty of frames for um you know offset and retime so this is how you do the uh, retime and scatter animated uh, objects inside Solaris for Houdini. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Pretty much it, guys. It's a quick tutorial uh, to help out whoever are looking for these uh, things. So thank you, guys. See you next time.